Hey everyone, I'm so glad you're here at ICC Kids. We're having a ton of fun this month as we search high and low to find wisdom. Wisdom is finding out what you should do and doing it. Finding wisdom is like finding a priceless treasure. You and I need wisdom every single day. And the great news is, we know exactly where to find it. We can ask God, because God is the source of all wisdom. With His help, we can make the wise choice, no matter what kind of decisions are in front of us. In our Bible story, we'll find a really wise way that we can use our noggins. But before that, let's all stand up and worship God together. This is our chance to lift our voices and praise God together. Let's celebrate and crank the music as we sing and dance. Here we go. Let's kick it off together. Three, two, one, hit it. Priceless treasure. God knows me, God hears me, God is my comfort. I am His, and there's nothing better. Forgiven and chosen forever. I am a treasure.
It's time to go over our values. Our first value is love God. We love God because God loved us first. Our second value is love people. We love people because God loves all people. 
Our third value is have fun. We have fun because God gives us joy. Our fourth and last value is make a difference. We make a difference because Jesus did. Today, we're taking another look at the Bible to see how we can find God's wisdom and put it into practice. Last week, we talked about a man named Solomon who became king over God's people after his father, King David. God appeared to Solomon in the dream, and he told Solomon that he could ask for anything he wanted. Solomon could have asked for anything, but he knew what was really important. He knew what he would need in order to be a good king. He chose wisdom. Because of that, God made Solomon one of the wisest people in the world. Many of these wise sayings God taught Solomon were collected together in the book of Proverbs. So now we can look back and see all of his amazing wisdom today. Let's take a look at our Bible story together. What's up everybody? It's me, Haley. I thought today we could take a look at some of my past treasure hunting expeditions so you could see some of the perils of my profession. You've been warned, danger awaits. When you're searching for treasure, you're gonna need some wisdom. Wisdom is finding out what you should do and doing it. In other words, there's always planning involved. You shouldn't just rush in without thinking, like the time I went looking for treasures in the jungles of Peru. Okay, there I am, about to go into a cave, and I kind of missed that sign that says, watch out for large boulders. So, here's what happened. Signs are there for a reason, people. But I learned my lesson. Look. Two paths leading to the same waterfall. The path on the right may be shorter, but look, there's a sign that says, caution, poison ivy. So, I took the longer path. And you know what happened? No calamine lotion necessary. <laughs> then, later, I got to the ancient ruins. There's a sign that says, warning, falling snakes. So, guess what? I decided there's a safer place to explore. So, when you're treasure hunting, it's important to look out for all of the warning signs. And as you'll find out in today's story, that's an important lesson in life, too. A lesson I have already learned on my many, 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 many Peruvian adventures. <laughs> all right, not really. I've actually never been to Peru, but I'm getting pretty good at editing photos. Here's me on the moon. All right, I'll see you in a few. Bye. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story the epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse three. When Solomon became king as a young man, he asked God for one thing, wisdom and God made him one of the wisest men in the world. Years later, many of Solomon's wise sayings were collected and written down in the book of Proverbs. Check out these wise words in Proverbs 22.3. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. There's a lot to discover in these few short lines. First of all, it's important to remember to take time in your day to stop. Oops! It's easy to get so distracted that you don't stop to take a breath and pay attention to what's going on around you. Second step, think. Look around you, look ahead. Do you see danger? Ask yourself, if I keep doing what I'm doing, what's going to happen? If I say the first thing that pops into my head and talk back to my mom, well, that might just lead to a week of no screen time. If I keep playing this video game, and playing, and playing, instead of studying, I might bomb the test. If I ignore the sign that says, playground closed for repairs, that could mean a trip to urgent care. God doesn't tell us the future, 
but he has given us the common sense to think through what is most likely to happen right now based on what's going on around us. Oh, which brings us to our third step. Act. Once you've taken time to stop and think it through, it's time to make your move. Maybe you realize the safe place in this case is to hold your tongue and say, yes, ma'am. Maybe your safe place is setting a timer for only five more minutes of game time before you study. Maybe your safe place is to walk right past that closed down playground, no matter how cool it looks. Foolish people barrel ahead without pausing to think. Wisdom stops, thinks, then acts. From the very beginning, God designed people with the ability to think and act according to his wisdom. And that's still true for each one of us today. So don't forget to stop, think, and then act. And as Solomon reminds us, wise people see danger and go to their safe place. But childish people, they keep going and suffer for it. Listen to what King Solomon wrote. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. Danger can come in all shapes and sizes. I'm not just talking about physical danger. Danger could be a suspicious looking website. It could be a friend you shouldn't hang out with. It could be a temptation to break a rule. And you might not have a sign to warn you when there's danger, but tell the truth. You know when something is dangerous, or at least you know when something might be dangerous. And that's your cue to try something different. Avoid the danger altogether. Or it's your cue to find out more information. When you want to do something you think might be dangerous, or if someone else is trying to get you to do something dangerous, don't just keep going without thinking about the consequences. Stop and think. Think about what Jesus would do, or talk to someone who's wiser than you. It might save you from trouble. Maybe even save you from a falling snake or two. Ah! Oh! It's not funny. The one thing to remember today is this. Think before you act. Look for the warning signs and avoid the danger. Then you'll be safe the next time you go to Antarctica. <laughs> that looks real, right? It totally looks real. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Since the very beginning, God created people to think. All we have to do is stop long enough to use the wisdom God has given us. We can ask God to help us find out what we should do and do it. Here's a challenge for you, for me and for everyone in this room today. Think before you act. If you're not sure what to do, it can really help to stop and think about Jesus. Think about what he would do that will help you choose wisdom instead of trouble. There's a lot of dangers around us, things that could hurt us or cause a problem between us and others. If we're not careful, we can say or do things that lead us right into danger. But God has given us a better way He's given us wisdom. He's given us the ability to understand what's right and wrong. Let's remember to stop what we're doing, think, then act. And remember, if you're not sure what to do, you can always ask your family members or your small group leader for help. That's a great way to put God's wisdom into practice, and we definitely need God's help to do it. Everyone, close your eyes and bow your heads. Let's pray. God, thank you for helping us understand these wise words that you gave to Solomon. It can be easy for us to rush into things and live life without stopping to think first. We know that if we're not careful, that can lead us into danger for us and for the people around us. Please help us practice what we've talked about. Stop, think, and act. Help us see danger coming and choose to live with wisdom instead. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Hope to see you again next week. Bye.